Hey ho, it is the 4th of August, 22.20, which is 11.20 p.m. Wait, I like that it says 2.2.2.0. Two, 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 oh, now it's 2.2.2.1. Two, 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 but anyways, uh, hey, I don't know if this will come up on YouTube one day or wherever I will do or post this. Um, I'm a thinker, I'm a visionary, I'm a dreamer, and um, I just felt like I wanted to sit down, start this, and talk. Who knows what will come out of this, if I will post it on anything, whatever I will do. Um, my life feels boring and I know what the people around me expect me to do what they want me to do but that's not what I want to do I have so much visions dreams, goals I know that I am I feel it in myself that I am meant for something more. I have been in my mindset, I think, more and more since New Year. I've gotten deeper and deeper into this path that I feel strongly that is mine, where I should go, where I'm going, where I want to go where my desires are. I also look through thoughts uh, to, uh, I looked, I've been looking back on my past, my childhood and things that I've understood has, well, traumas, what has put me to why things are as they are and why I don't have or I know it's probably for a reason uh, but my heart at times panics and I cry and I break down when I feel so deeply where I want to be where I wish I was, who I was, how I, how I looked, what I did. When I was a kid, I used to entertain my family. Uh, I would put on shows in the living room for both my parents and friends of my parents. I would do acts, I would do singing. And I also what it was in kind of... Uh, place in everything that was in school I was in it uh, and I know that I was uh, I had a lot of energy and um, I love nature I love, have always have a big empathy uh, collecting rocks I collected plants I collected bugs <laughs> uh, I've rescued animals that was hurt even a little mouse uh, that was uh, hunted by a cat and I helped this little mouse that has had a wound on its forehead I cleaned it up and I let it out on the field and somewhere along the way I know that my energy has been quieted. I have memories of people telling me to when I spoke up and I felt like I was things was unfair, I was talking back. I know when I 
I had a lot of energy. I have always had a lot of energy. But somewhere I was told too many times that it's not appropriate to have that much energy. To be quiet, to control myself, to be obedient. And I feel like somewhere along the way I have quieted myself down a lot, too much, that I don't really know how to be happy outwards. I'm, I'm trying to break free from that. I also have so many dreams and I know ever since I became a teenager and now I'm all in the way to the adulthood, both adults around me, both family and teachers. Adults have told me, when I have told people what my dreams are, what my goals is, even today, I have people that tell me that it is a waste of time, that I'm not gonna make it, that I'm delusional, that it's for people with talent. But how do I know if I don't have talent if I don't even try? I know I have support. It's not like they don't, well, I at least don't think so, um, but I, I have no one that believes in me, that shares on me, that's like, you go do it. And when things goes hard, they tell me to do something else instead of keep going. I believe in you, you can do that. I don't know if I've ever had anyone say that, that they believe in me. So, for some time, I know that I have cut people out. All those who, in some point, have laughed at me for interests or passions or something that is emotionally or hits me emotionally. And they call it stupid or childish or something and if I talk about my dreams and they tell them that that's not gonna happen that I am delusional all that I cut people off I have excluded so many friends and I don't talk about my dreams my goals my passions anymore to my family because I don't want them to be taken away from me anymore I feel like I know that like a year ago I was in a very very bad place emotionally mentally and I just felt like I've been trying and trying to be in the field that is normal but I have felt felt like it didn't work I am so replaceable and no one takes me serious I'm just a pawn and I'm not <laughs> I feel like I've I locked myself away my feelings my passions my dreams what makes me happy what makes me smile And I felt like, I know, last August, September, I was so, so sad, heartbroken, because I felt like nothing works, nothing is, I was, uh, I had two extra jobs and then I had suddenly nothing, that I'm so replaceable in this 
ordinary life. I am no value there. Well, shortly, <laughs> but not for real. And I hated the person that I was. I could not be myself. I could not be creative. I could not act out. No. I felt like everything was pointless, meaningless, because I had nothing that I loved, except for, well, my cats. <laughs> And I think if I didn't have them, I would probably not sitting here today. Because everything really felt like it has no meaning. Nothing. I had nothing. And then I went to talk with uh, doctors and psychiatrists. Got an antidepressant in October. And somewhere in December, in January, I feel like, fuck it, I'm not going back into that work. Not that field. We only have one life. Why not live our life as we feel it, you know? I have always been creative. And I feel like the entertainment field Is probably where I should be. Creating, producing in different eras. <laughs> Areas. <laughs> I have so many visions now. I always see picture myself in that. But I haven't gone for it. I don't know. Probably I have ADD or ADHD, something with a part that I can see, I can write down, and I can I know exactly how I'm gonna do to get there. But as soon as I close the notebook, it leaves my mind. It's difficult. It's hard. Um, I feel like I'm on the right path where I should be going and I am really really trying by cutting people off to not affect me so much I stopped talking about my dreams and passion as I said to my family and to people if I say anything about them and I get a negative response if they tell me to do something else, or if they ridiculize it, like, ridiculize it, I will not tell them again about it. And I am trying, trying, trying to be my own cheerleader. To be my own. You can do it. But I wish I had someone. Maybe that's why I have connected so much to the spiritual spirituality. To feel like I'm not alone. That I have backup. For God. Gods and goddesses. My spiritual team. I've gotten into that. And I'm curious. about the mystery paranormal stuff as well it's kind of interesting but I also like knowledge history I really wish I could do travels like history travels not really but Oh, 
travel blogging maybe? Visit places historically breathtakingly by nature religious monuments tell stories tell the history but also show reality you know both the good and the bad make people aware at the same time I will have like knowledge both for me and maybe for others and um, I really love I have watching a few people on YouTube that have me influenced in a way about how they tell a story where they are mostly of them are paranormal investigators I really like this storytelling, telling a story about a place and investigating the energies of the place. It's interesting. Maybe I will have a combination of them. It will be an entertainer, kind of, <laughs> kind of way. Um, I was like, I don't know if you follow, watch a lot of TikToks from, or YouTube. I know Selena Spilgibu and Call Me Chris, but they are like <laughs> goals. No, how can I say it? Like the friendship part and also the going for their own niche going for their own having fun and i th believe their friendship started through make knowing each other through internet and through making their own stuff entertainment <laughs> i wish i had a friend like that you know and through them i watched sam and colby and uh, i have uh, so many like through that I feel alone I really do so I kind of envy the friendship they have so maybe one day I will have friends like that because I feel like they really both the goofiness and the playfulness and the sharing each other on yeah and I also love their work with the goofy parts and the storytelling and all that. Maybe I could be part of their team one day. Who knows? And <laughs> what are you doing? Chew. No. No plastic. Thank you very much. I don't know what I want to do with this. What I want to say. Do. Maybe I want to just... Sluta! He wants attention. Maybe I should stop this. I don't know where I'm going with this. What I want to say. What I want to do. If I'm even going to post this ever. But maybe I'll just keep it for myself. I just said that. Anyways. Uh, I actually did write down the 90 days challenge. Maybe I will do that. I follow a girl or young woman on YouTube that had this 90 day challenge of becoming her. And I really love that idea to take into detail, take into sections, to take in an overview what could you do? Because I know you usually need three weeks or 21 
21 days to up to 66 days to complete, um, complete the change cycle to uh, a routine or like habit habit that's the word if you want to change a habit if you want to change a routine something to make it something that you do automatically it's in between 21 to 66 days so I actually wrote down 90 days what I wish what I want in my life and if everything were possible big and small those small and big dreams what I could with routines and work what could I what could I do to get further to this path that I see for myself in this career that I see for myself in this development of myself I was so joyful once in my life I had such goofiness so much energy love creativity but some way somewhere along the line she was quieted down she was not appropriate But I know now, I just need to find my own tribe and that the people, I, not, I don't have them around me, but there is people out there like me that have big dreams and goes for them and that shares for each other. I want to find people like and I'm going to work on myself, being my best version, because I want to have fun. I want to be out there. I want to see more, do more, inspire. I want to be a change. I want to make a change. You know? I want to entertain, produce. Use my creativeness and my empath, <laughs> my intuition, my my field. I want to go there. I want to be there. And yeah, I'm gonna continue be try to be my own cheerleader until I reach it. Maybe I will get people along the way that will share with me. And I can share on them too, of course. Who knows? It's long. Will I post it? I don't know. Who knows? But at least I see where I want to go. And I have dreams. One year ago, I felt like, I know I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. So, it's a big difference. <laughs> it might not look like it. Um, at least I have a plan. And I feel like as long as my mind sticks to this, if I don't get up, if I don't give up, not get up. But... <sighs> Tongue. Yeah. Don't give up. Keep on Imagine thinking it, you know, when I close my notebook, maybe I will still eventually change. 90 days, changing a habit, <laughs> changing a life. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Make dreams your goals, not your fantasy. I have a lot that I want to work on. My appearance, my self-esteem, my passions, my love, my joy. 
my spirituality, my, well, have friends, maybe even a partner. Let's see. Anyways, I should quit now. This is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. Should I post this? Should I? Maybe I should. And whoever listens to it, listens to it. But I know maybe my family. I know I have a few family that follow me. Maybe they will be disappointed in hearing this. How I feel. But it is what it is. I'm gonna follow my dreams. And I'm not gonna talk to about it with people who don't wish it for me. Or share it on me. I don't know. What am I talking about? Follow your dreams. Don't let people quiet him down. I'm gonna find my happiness. I'm gonna find my passions, my joy. And I really wanna go out there and have fun. What are you doing? I should go and get them some snack or something. I think they usually get like wet food in the afternoon, so I should probably do that. Give them some weekend treats. It's Friday. So. Mm. Dragon agrees. So, uh, bye bye.